Yeah. yeah. I got bees all over me. All right. This is doing Camelback Mountain. This is the Echo Canyon Trailhead. You can see, according to this, 1.14 miles with 1264 feet of elevation gain. Based on my experience, that is about right. So this will be a separate video to show you the, oh, the whole way up Echo Canyon. But disclaimer, I just did up Choya down Echo. So I will be slightly fatigued. So this will be a couple minutes slower than normal. Just ran into some runner on the way down. I, uh, he knew he was clearly moving fast. I was like, "How long did it take you to get up?" He said, "18 minutes," which is absurd. The FKT is Walmsley, Jim Walmsley. I think it's like 1550 something. I've broken 20 before, but barely. We're talking high 19s. This, he said 18, so I don't know if that meant like 1850 or in the 18s or like 18 flat. But that is moving. This will be like, I don't know, 25 probably. Maybe even slower. It's usually two to three minutes slower if I'm doing it for the second time than it would be if I was fresh. So if I were fresh, this might be like, you know, 22, 23. Since I'm not, we'll say 26. But I don't know. I will try to make this as quick as possible so you don't have to watch too much footage. As much as that would be beneficial to me. On your left. Oh, sorry. I don't think, I don't think you guys want to watch me on this mountain all day. At least we're in the shade for this first, you know, 25% or so. So this first bit is sort of the warm up. I mean, you're going up, but it's like trail. Quick splash some water in my mouth, on my neck, on the on the bottom. Yeah, it's crowded. That's uh, This is by far the most popular hike in the Phoenix Valley. Everyone who visits here or has a work conference here or went on vacation with their kids, they all do Camelback. So, see, for those of you who tell me I shouldn't be posting videos because it'll get kids in trouble or die, yeah, there's little kids all over this mountain. And obviously, it's your decision what you want to hike and if you're capable or physically fit and or if you want to bring your kids. Just because I post a video showing the hike doesn't mean you have to do it or you're capable of doing it. That is absurd that people think that. Yeah, I'm posting a video and putting people in danger because I post a video of my hikes. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Sorry, I'm just, all, several people commented, I woke up this morning, I saw it before I left for here. Like just basically ripping me a new one because I was posting videos of hikes and letting a hiking group know about it to try to help them. It was just so sad.
Anyone is more than welcome to post their own videos on social media, on YouTube. They can say the hike is the hardest in their life. They can say no one should ever do it. They can say whatever they want to say. Just like I can. Still working our way up these shaded switchbacks. Still on what I call the warm up section. Did you, did you ever get into Yellowstone? Yeah. Hey. So we've hit the little first saddle summits up there, or maybe a quarter of the way up. That's only in distance, not in effort. That was the easiest part. Well, right here is this flat part. But you know what I mean? The climbing's about to get a lot more strenuous. It does feel pretty good. <laughs> Two sections of wooden steps second one much bigger Here's the fun part. This part's gonna be a madhouse. No, no, you're good. You're good. For yeah. just that time. I popped through. that steep part a little downhill if you're pushing it your legs will be shaky on this little downhill you'll notice that guy said uphill hikers are the right away for those of you who don't hike that is an important etiquette hiking rule of thumb uphill hikers now if it's double track and there's plenty of room you're welcome to keep moving if you're going down but if it's narrow and single track, you should yield to the uphill hiker. Oh, 
work. Little rest. All right, so when you go up here, you have a choice. You need to go up. You'll see it around the corner here. You can either go up this boulder gully or you can go up this slick rock slope. Sorry, the sun's in the way. I always, not always, I prefer the slick rock slope just to avoid people i don't actually know it's more direct if you go straight up but it's so steep i don't know if it's actually faster so it's definitely a major major calf burner if the rock is stable you're not going to slip and fall i'm not using my hands i'm just walking up can't see it all with the sun. <clears throat> so you go up and then when you hit this this part there's the boulder field everyone's taking you cut left at this boulder here and continue. <clears throat> Man I'm burning. It's not gonna be a good time. <laughs> it's okay though. Uh, thought maybe 18 minute man will be going again, but uh, he's not. <clears throat> Can't see at all with the sun. So I'm just walking up. And that's where everyone's going. There you go. We're almost up this part. Ah. I like saying hi to people that have like different colleges on. I saw a guy with a gator shirt, a girl with a Georgia Tech hat, a guy with a Mississippi State shirt on. It's fun to talk to people. So anyway, you come here, take one little step down, and now you're up above the main trail here. It'll come up to meet us. 
Hey. Oop. This is somewhat, I mean, you're still going up. This is sort of your last rest, if you want to call it that. Said you're still going up, just not as steeply as you just were. So, uh, there's a long push to the summit. We're only a little over half. Maybe 60% almost. Yeah. Right. One. You can say hi there. I didn't there. I dropped. You'll meet it back right here. You can even stay high there. Avoid some minor ups and downs. Right. Cool little step up right here. Here's where you go to the cave. I'll show you that on the way down. Mini little shortcut here. It might save like half a second. Picked it up from some guy, John. <clears throat> hey. All right, once we get this little flat, we have a major, major push up a big boulder gully, which more or less represents the last third of the hike. So if you're not used to this or you're in town, this is gonna be a soul sucker. Unless you're like a stair stepper pro, you will not be used to this. Make your way to the right. There are these little ledges right here. There's one. Step up. Here's the second. After the second ledge, take a couple steps and cut left. And mount. This is sort of a rock ramp that'll take you up past that saguaro there on the left side of the drainage. I personally think it's easier and more direct than boulders than being in that. But to each his or her own. It's basically like a ramp. continues. Sure, you'll notice I'm not moving nearly as quick. If you watch the uh, Choya video, that was what I did right before this. I was moving better on that. Hey. So now it's just 
a lot of big boulders for quite a long ways. Sun is brutal. Yeah. <laughs> right in my eyes. <laughs> I did. I went up the other side first. Yeah. <laughs> this parking lot was full. <laughs> You're good. Sorry, I came up right where you were. Can't even see with the sun. Big step up right here. We're getting there, eighty percent up. Good job, dude. Almost there. 
Alright. Five percent. I am struggling big time. Hey. This is hard, no matter how fit you are, but it's short. <clears throat> the best part is, you can go whatever pace. You want push yourself. it. I'm gonna run down the Troya Trail and go watch college football. Yippee! So I wanted to record this. When you're coming down Echo Canyon and you get down all the boulders, there's a little cave off trail here. There's a sign that says caution active bees in the area. Which I don't know why that sign's here, but you just contour right over here there's a cool little cave so I thought I would show that to you if you've never done this before or you're with your kids or whatever this is a very grippy stable rock you're not falling off the edge don't worry see right in here and with how many people are on this mountain the fact that there's no one in this cave is crazy considering it's 30 seconds off trail so you know, it's cool you can get back here, you get a good uh, a good picture through the opening here. So, just wanted to show that to you. Very easy to get to. You can climb all over these rocks anywhere you want, by the way. Find different ways up and down. Um, so anyway, this little cave, here's the little entrance hole. And you can see that's the major gully that leads you close to the summit. Sort of the, the hard, long push up up the boulder gully so anyway just wanted to show you the cave i also wanted to show you this bare rock slope down which is the way i typically come up echo canyon so you would have seen it the way i came up most people are down there they take this little boulder gully um it's honestly it might even be quicker to go that way i just to avoid the people and all these boulders um, I just prefer 
sort of a bare slope and you don't have to walk it's very steep if you walk straight down but if you sort of zigzag it like make your own switchbacks like this it is honestly i mean you can make it whatever gradient you want depending on how you cut do the zigzags you know so people don't realize that they think terrain's too steep we'll just switch back it you know just make your own switchbacks you can make it whatever gradient your little heart desires so this and then there's this curb that you can use to bounce off Boing. redirect you this way drop down at this boulder still not out of the woods yet got to go down to the right of this palo verde plant gets a little steep right at the end here so you can sort of crab walk if you feel uncomfortable you know you can go like this you can crab walk get some more friction with your hands but there's this nice little ledge step right here that i'm on and then uh then you're pretty much off you just step down to this rock and there you go and then uh you can rejoin the normal trail but I do see a handful of, maybe not a lot, 5% of people maybe take that way to go up and down. It's usually more veteran seasoned hikers, I would say. So anyway, that was that. The sun's brutal. That was that rock slope coming down. 